Hi guys, welcome to episode 26 of Airland. In this episode I'm going to finish the train station and I'm going to put this right over here. So I'm going to start building the queue line for the flat ride. This way the guest will be able to go on this ride and I will have more guests in this area of the park. I'm not really going to finish the queue line completely right away because I wanted to have the train station finished first. This was just for the queue line to have it in the right place. I think I'm going to build the train station before I finish this building over here. But I'm not really sure, but I think that's what I did. I was able to remove this bump from the mountain, but that's not really that big of a deal because now I can use it to place some trees or some bushes on that bump, which just gives a little bit more dynamic to the, to the area. What you see here, by the way, I'm using the roof tile and I'm raising it like one, one step up. This way I can use that roof tile to build a pathway to the grid on the correct height. And here I'm just trying to figure out the way I want to place the exit and the entrance path. And I decided to have this path zigzag the way you see it right here, but it had to go up a little bit as well. Which you will see me do in a little bit. Like so. And this way I can bend the exit around it. And this is the layout I'm going to use for this pathway. And it's very nice because now I can make a nice station around it. And I already had the idea to have like a, a little a slightly taller building on the left. So at the at the entrance and the exit gates so to speak to have that part be a little bit taller than the rest of the building which will be slightly lower which will be kind of the hallway where you can wait for a train but you have to wait for a train because the queue line is going through it right now but if there was not if there if there was no line it would be like a dry place to wait for the train and on the inside I wanted to have like a fence for the for the queue line so guests couldn't ju simply cross over. And I like custom fences slightly more so that's the reason I'm, I'm building custom fences over here. And this is like a like an emergency exit just in case something happens. So I'm just placing this rope over here, which is attached to a hook, which I'm trying to simulate by using an icing decoration painted black or silver, and then that's like a hook where the rope's attached, and it, lo it looks pretty good in my opinion. And that's a ring like so and it, it it looks pretty good this way the queue line is fenced up but in case of emergency it's very easily opened up by removing the rope on the inside of the taller building i wanted to have a ceiling so i'm using these wooden deck boards to create a ceiling and i still wanted to have some extra details on the inside so i decided to make like support beams for the roof this just add a little bit more detail and it just looks a whole lot better if you add something like that in the building instead of having it open and it's not like i'm going to look inside the building all the time but if someone's gonna look inside it just looks so much better so i made one layer of these support beams and just copied it over alongside the roof and this way i managed to get multiple layers to support the roof as you can see, they, the beams stuck out the roof a little bit, so I selected them all and lowered them slightly to have them in the correct place. The main layout of this building is done. I'm just simply adding some more support beams along the building, which actually support the walls gives a little bit more depth to the walls, more structure. 
I wanted to have one awning on the side of the building over here. And when the awning is in place, all the building needs is some more windows and a few doors and then it's finished. I wanted to customize the windows a little bit, so I decided to use these wooden beams to make like a nice frame around these windows. It just makes the whole thing look slightly better. And it is not really necessary, but I, I just like the way it looks, so I did it. Sometimes it's just that simple. So I'm going to start working on the building for this flat ride over here. And my idea was to make this, uh, to make this the bank of the village. So the building had to look kind of nice and I wanted to have a big, big front door. That's why you see the small roof in front. And I want to make like two big doors where people could enter. There's only a, a small part of the queue is going inside the building and afterward it's going behind the building. On the inside I use these pillars to support the roof. And over here I wanted to make like a small counter for inside the bank. I wanted to have some bars in between so people couldn't simply get in and rob the bank. So I use these these wires to make like iron bars where the personnel can stand behind. When I look at it, it looks more like a prison. <laughs> but I, at the time, I really thought it was a nice idea, and I'm I'm actually pretty happy with how it turned out. But I just noticed I haven't made a door towards this small area for the staff, so it's kind of stupid of me. So it's time to finish the outside of the building and I made a fence like this so you had to enter like through the side but that's not really a bad thing because the whole building is placed up and I made the stairs on the side so it just looks better like this and I'm hanging a rope over here just like I did with the train station so guests won't step over and go the wrong way. I made a flat roof, as you can see right here, and I'm placing an animat animatronic cowboy on the roof who kind of keeps keeps watch that no criminals are getting near. I didn't really like the light color of the of the decks that you saw before, so I used planks to cover them up, and they are slightly darker, so it just looks a little bit better. Now it's time to add some windows and some doors to this building and because the guests are walking on the inside I'm also duplicating the outer windows to the inside of the building so this way it looks like the windows are like two sided instead of just stickers on the outside of the building. Adding some trees and some cacti and some bushes around the place and that's about the last thing I'm doing in this episode. Anyways guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, if you did, please hit the like button. You can always subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with the series and I hope to see you in the next one. See ya!